Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <sighs> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with a third degree? Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Bigby. since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Damn thing fell off again. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on.
Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Bluebeard's file. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me? Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true, what with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Toad. Mr. Toad. Okay. How are his kids doing? He was yelling at him. Eh, sounds about right. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. 
Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Bigby. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working oh. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... give me a second. It's just... terrible. So... who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then... I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Recognize it. Neither do I. Strange. 
Oh, God. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. gotten caught on this climbing over the fence. Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Nobody there. been here an hour maybe it's got to have something to do with the blood on the fence going. Are we done? I've seen enough. But... Okay. We should... move her. Before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. 
There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster! If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. 